am ready for bed, but the universe told me to pick up my cards and deliver a message. So let's see what this message is, Spirit Team. What's going on here? What is this urgent message that I need to deliver right now? Okay, we're starting off with the Seven of Wands. Ooh, too many. But what's this one? Two of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Okay, judgment. Listen, there's something here where you're needing to make a choice. This is something that has been keeping you up at night. You've been really anxious about. You've been overthinking quite a lot. But the thing is, whatever the answer is that you're seeking, it's already within you here with the Seven of Wands. So you're being encouraged to really listen, to really tune into yourself and understand what the guidance is. There's a sense of you almost needing to surrender a little bit more. Take time out to really listen to that inner voice of yours because whatever it is that you're trying to kind of juggle right now, um, the choice that you need to make, you you already have the answer. You already know what the right thing for you is. But it's like you're not listening. You are not listening to yourself. You're not giving yourself the space here to trust that inner guidance. One more one on the timer. I feel like you are entering a brand new beginning here. Like you are starting a brand new journey. And the universe is wanting you to really, like, it's like the universe is pushing you towards this new start, towards this new journey. But I feel like there's something holding you back. I mean, for a lot of you, the fear is definitely holding you back. Your own thought is sabotaging this. What else? What else? Ooh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, and then we've got the Five of Pentacles. So I know there's a new opportunity being presented here to you. There's a seed that's been planted by the universe to give you exactly what you've been asking for. So this could be a manifestation coming in for you, okay? However, you're in this lack mindset. You're in this energy of like, just not believing that this is for you. Like, see how both of these figures have got like the, the head in, you know, the hands almost. Like, there's a sense of defeat. That's what I'm getting from this energy. It's an energy of defeat of like, oh, well, what's the point anyways? Like, is this even going to work out? But of course it is. You must believe in the outcome. You must believe in what it is that you desire for yourself. Nothing is too crazy. There is no dream that's too big. You make it too big by thinking that it's too big, okay? Or by listening to other people's opinions who have no clue. Uh, remember, only ever take advice from people who are where you want to be. Okay, we've also got the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. So this is fate. Okay, this is something where you almost need to roll the dice. You need to take a risk towards what it is that you desire in order to, to get it, in order to achieve it. Um, It's almost like everything has been like everything has been conspiring to give you what it is that you want. But now that you're like there, so whatever this op like whatever this opportunity is, is being presented, whatever the choice is that you, you need them to make. It's almost like the universe has given it to you because that's what you're manifesting, but it may have not come in the way that you expected it to. So you're like, I don't know what to do. I'm confused. Like, I don't know what the right thing to do is. You do know what the right thing to do is. Three, two, one on the timer. You're just avoiding it. Oh, why? Why? Yeah, five of cups. Oh, listen. The Five of Cups here represents like loss. Um, and I feel like for you here, it specifically talks about not wanting to give up on something, not wanting to let go of something that you've perhaps put a lot of work into. Um, and you, you're almost like, yeah, but maybe it will work out. Like, you know, but it's, it's wasted effort is what I'm getting. It's wasted time, wasted effort. Like just close the book on that. Keep moving forward. We've also got Five Five coming forward very, very... Um, strongly here so there's definitely change that's ha trying to happen in your life and you beginning trying to enter but it's almost like you just not you're not allowing it okay i've got the start in reverse this is a wish fulfillment that you've been asking for but you don't see it as such there's something here where you've lost hope what's going on yeah it's like you're not seeing the wood for the trees there's some this is there's an opportunity here for you hidden in plain sight and I really need you to open your eyes to what's currently going on in your life because there is an opportunity of a lifetime hidden in plain sight that you're just not seeing. See that five of swords as well. It's like you're not seeing this opportunity. Like you're overthinking this. There's something here that's not adding up. Five, five, five. There's a need for change. Ooh, 
Yeah, we've got the King of Pentacles and Queen of Swords here. This this is something that's going to make you very financially stable. Okay, so if you've been somebody who's wanted to um, manifest more money into your life, etc., etc., like this is it. This is going to bring in that financial stability that you've been asking for, and as well as that, it's gonna it's gonna do it in a way that's authentic to you. Like this is authenticity. This is you being honest, you know, with who you are, um, honest with the people around you, or just being yourself like truly truly being yourself but it's almost like you're not taking it and that's because there is a there is a painful ending that comes with this okay this so something has to end in order to make space for this new opportunity it's kind of what i'm getting here so th there's a need to take action is what the universe is saying there's a need to take action because you my dear are supposed to be the leader you are supposed to shine like you are meant to be recognized you are meant to be known and whatever this is okay that you're being called to do that you're really afraid to do right now because it's kind of outside of your comfort zone this is the thing that's gonna make you the leader this is the thing that's gonna make you shine don't be afraid even if it's unorthodox even if it's outside of the box be the goddamn leader be the first one okay do not be afraid like you've got this slow and steady wins the race like do not be afraid to invest in what it is that you believe in yes because this is ultimately going to bring you this abundance and you will connect with like-minded people you will collaborate with like-minded people but this is ultimately what's going to bring you both stability financial abundance everything that you've been asking for this wish fulfillment do not be afraid to take this risk. Do not be afraid to start fresh on something. Do not be afraid to let go of the things that are no longer serving you and be authentic, be true to yourself. You know, really tune into your values, to your core values and really like communicate that. That's going to make you seen. That's going to make you known. Like independent, confident, believe in yourself. I love you. 